video, I'm going to show you how to make an easy homepage using Canvas's icon button maker. So to start, you're going to navigate to the pages in your left hand navigation menu and then create a new page. You can give this page a name and then you are going to click the button maker icon maker icon and then you are going to give your student um, excuse me your icon a name I'm going to call this absent work and I'm going to choose a size I'm going to have a large square I'm going to pick a color I'll make it green if I wanted to I could outline it and then I'm going to type in the text I want if I want text um, I'm going to pick that there. I'm going to make it large. And then I can say where I want it. I'll put it up there. If I wanted to add an image, I can choose either my own image, a single color or a multicolor image. So I'll just do that. And then I'm going to apply it. So now this button is on my page. What I can do is I can select that button and I can then link it to a course link. So I am going to want this to link to the module that I've made for absent students, and then I save it. If I want to make another button, I just go ahead and edit, and I can make this button be underneath it if I want. Just go back in, and I can create a new button. This one will be called um, resources and maybe this one will be a pentagon and I will make oops I'll make it uh, orange and the text is going to say resources and once again I am going to just pick the spot maybe I'll put that one in the middle and I don't think I'm going to add an image to this one I'm just going to Click it, and it's a smaller button, but that's okay. If I want to link it, I click link to a course, and then I'm going to find my resources module and select it. Also in this, I can, um, in the home page, I can put in words if I wanted to. I can go ahead and select a large font and type in, what, oops, that didn't get large, did it? It's okay, welcome to grade and I can just highlight that and make it large and bold and change the color and if I wanted to input an emoji I could do that just by right clicking and selecting emoji and then going to um, whichever emoji I want and then I just always save. Now, once I've created a home page, hopefully it'll look a little better than this one, which I did quickly for a purpose of training. I want to go to make it my home page. So if I click home, then I'm going to wait just a minute. And over here on the right hand side, I'll see choose home page. And it gives me the option to have a pages front page. But because I've not indicated that I wanted that home page to be my front page, I can't select it. And I showed you that because that is something that typically happens as an error because you didn't set your home page first. So to do that, you're just going to go to pages and then you're going to find the home page that you want. Here it is. I called it home page two. Publish it and then click the three dots and click use as front page. Now when I go home, I can choose the home page and there it is and that will be my homepage.